You must expect to be right. You must expect to be right when making these decisions. Hey, I'm Dr. Joffrey. Thank you for joining me again on the Making Decisions series. Look, everyone, at the end of the day, the better our decisions, the better the quality of our decisions, the better the quality of our life. Take another step, the better the quality of our decisions, the better the leaders we are. The better leaders we are, the better those are who follow us and the better the organization. Look, you must expect to be right when making decisions. Confucius once said, the man or woman who thinks they can and the man or woman who thinks they cannot are probably both right. Confucius, the man or woman who thinks that they can and the man or woman who thinks that they cannot are probably both right. In other words, if you expect to be right, you're probably going to be right. If you expect to be wrong, you're probably going to be wrong. Let me set it up this way. When I was a resident, a resident means that uh, there's someone above you. There's an attending above you. You don't have the, the final say so. When I was a resident, a lady came in, short of breath. She was clearly having difficulty breathing. I was unsure about, should I put a tube down her throat? Um, I wasn't sure that it was the right decision, um, although everything looked, you know, the pulse ox was low. All the signs that I should put a tube down her throat to help her breathe were there. Again, a tube placed down your urethral throat, it's for patients who have difficulty breathing and they're, they're not uh, getting enough oxygen. It saves their life. But I was not sure, should I, was it the right call? Should I put this tube down her throat? I decided to put the tube down her throat, was not sure. As I'm trying to put the tube down her throat, it's a, it's a, it's a technical skill. The tube goes in the wrong spot. I don't get in the right spot and the attending has to come in and save me and put the tube down the patient's throat. But while he's doing it, because uh, we had stabilized her, he, he showed me where the, it, was a, it was an easy intubation. It was an easy way. It was, should, anyone should be able to put this tube down the, the, the lady's throat. The point is, I didn't do it because I was so busy thinking I was wrong. I wasn't expecting to be right. Me not expecting to be right impacted the confidence of doing whatever procedures. In other words, me not expecting to be right impacted the confidence of other decisions. What's the point? If you expect to be right, it opens you up to more confidence. It opens you up to better quality of your decisions because you're confident about them. I ask you, how often have you failed or perhaps didn't per perform well? because you were expecting yourself not to perform well. Are you expected to fail? Are you weren't expecting the best out of you? You weren't expecting to be right. Ask yourself that. You must expect to be right when making decisions. Expecting to be right gives you confidence for all the other decisions that follow after that. If you found this helpful, please share it, hit the subscribe button, and join me for the next video. Be prepared for your next decision. I'm Dr. Joffrey, whatever you do, be safe, be kind, and make your optimal decisions.